Well, folks, here again for the weekly forecast. During this past week, of course, the thing we dealt with was that upper air low that ejected out of the central Rockies, slowly moved across the state and kind of weakened as it moved to the east of us, almost played out exactly as the models projected last week. Heaviest precipitation fell across the central part of the state, and we had some isolated pockets in southeastern, extreme southeastern Nebraska, where more than an inch of rainfall was reported. So as the system passed to our east, now we're starting to get some of the warmer air building in. Uh, it did start to occur a little bit earlier in western Nebraska, but everybody is just sharing in the wealth of these warmer than normal temperatures. We expect that to hold for much of this weekend before we turn our attention to another system coming into the middle of next week that has the potential as it passes to start to pull in some colder air from Canada and it would not be shocked whatsoever based on what I'm seeing from the models that a hard freeze will occur um, sometime next weekend through the early part of the following week for a substantial portion of the western central Corn Belt. So let's get to look at the upper air models and see what we can expect as we go through this period. Here's this big upper air low that is going to slowly make its way eastward. We have this ridge in place that is bringing the warmth for today. There is a little residual mid-level low in the upper atmosphere that may cause a few sprinkles in portions of Iowa and Minnesota. Some of that may touch extreme northeastern Nebraska, but I would not account on anything more than just trace type precipitation. But the big news will be the slow movement of this system uh, as it progresses toward the east. By tomorrow, we'll see that system just kind of sitting there. We still have the ridging in place. Another nice warm day. Everybody should be well into the 80s with exception of western Nebraska where 90s are probably uh, going to be very common. And as we get into Monday, we'll start to see the system lifting out. So we'll start to see some shower activity develop, and particularly across the Panhandle during the second half of the day. And that may spread during the overnight hours into central Nebraska. And by the time we get into Tuesday, the system starts to move up into South central South Dakota. And we should see a fairly widespread area of showers and thunderstorms across the state. The heaviest precipitation right now is being projected for central and south central Nebraska with lighter amounts both in eastern and western Nebraska. As we go into Wednesday, the system starts to to weaken as it moves uh, up into the Upper Plains region, but we start to see a broad general troughing pattern taking place, so the potential for cooler air starts to slip into northern Nebraska, and we do have a few waves that are going to move right along this periphery that could generate some shower activity, particularly as we get into Thursday, as we get one piece of energy rolling through, that will once again generate shower activity, and then more importantly as we get into Friday, we start to see another trough making its way in, and this one does not look to cut off, it looks like it's going to progress on an easterly fashion, and with that it's going to start to pull down some colder air into our region, particularly as we get into the Saturday to Sunday time frame. We'll just have to wait to see whether it verifies, but for the last five days the models have been pointing to freezing conditions invading North Dakota, South Dakota, and points eastward. The last two days we started to pull that cold air well into Nebraska, so it does look like a hard freeze is most likely. Now as we look at the temperature forecast for this seven day period, you'll notice that very nice conditions during the first half of the week with a slow cooling trend as we get through the midweek period. We get those thunderstorms and shower activity on Tuesday and Wednesday before we start to see much cooler weather move in the state on Thursday and Friday. As we look at the 8 to 14 day forecast from next Thursday to the following Tuesday, after that low passes through, another low starts to form over the central rocket, so colder than normal conditions. In terms of precipitation, we are looking at a large expansive area of above normal moisture to start out the first full week of October.